Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. Okay, Taurus, so we're starting with the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords as the awareness for the week. So the King of Swords is someone who has mastered the element or the suit of swords by being very rational, very controlled and informed, someone who is able to be objective, someone who looks clearly at the evidence and the facts before making decisions, someone who can make the tough decisions and not get caught up in the drama of emotions or you know, the pleadings of some folks. It's, you could think of a judge, you could think of an attorney, someone who is decisive, someone who understands complexity and is able to act being objective, being fair, seeking the truth. The King of Swords also has really a no BS type of um, mode as well, which is uh, going to cut right to the heart of the matter, not going to stand any fools or any type of um, side bin business that interferes. It's just going to cut right to the quick. And sometimes that bluntness or that force of doing things can be, you know, if you're dealing with someone in the office who's like this, it can be a little, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of, unsettling. You know, you may take things so personally, like they don't like you, but there is a, there's just a, uh, it's a characteristic, which is sticking to the facts, looking at the facts, being informed, using smarts and reason to deal with matters. And so this could be very much something for you to think about this week. And it also can go to friendships or situations that have become uh, less than beneficial to you. You can use the power of this sword that he holds to cut loose, cut loose the negative energy, cut loose the, the downers in your life, or at least for the week, give yourself some space. So here's the King of Swords next to the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, blindfolded woman, she's bound, she's in between some puddles and surrounded by these swords. In the distance are the, is the tower, or the tower's back here. So there's a sense where you feel restricted, where you feel unable to move. You may feel that circumstances are against you. This could be something where you're feeling lack of confidence. You're really down on yourself. The Eight of Swords really goes to um, this feeling that you can't take a step forward, that you're just stuck. And it may need, you may need the clarity of this King of Swords to help you move forward. There's a very interesting thing to think about with this card, which is blindfolded, can't see, arms are bound, can't move my arms, but you know, you can move your feet. And when times are tough and you decide in your heart that you have to get out of this restricted mindset or this restricted space, you can start to inch your way out with your feet with, you know, you can start the movement, but you have to be ready to do that. You have to have made the decision for yourself to say, I'm done in this negative headspace, I'm done feeling trapped or restricted in this relationship or in this terrible job, and I'm going to do something about it. So guidance, something has clearly hurt you and you are feeling the effects of that hurt. Three of Swords, camp any more clear than what you see. Three Swords stabbing the heart. Painfulness, the grayness of this illustration. Um, feeling down, feeling betrayed. Someone has hurt you. Someone could be, could have been unkind to you. Uh, so many ways to feel this um, Three of Swords in your heart. And so the thing to think about is that we deal with hurt all the time. We get hurt 
throughout our life, sometimes bigger times and, you know, bigger hurts than other hurts, but we learn to rebound. We learn to pick ourselves up. We learn to get farther away from the pain, farther away from the feeling of, of devastation, of loss, of grief. Here's the five of cups, the cloaked figure here, head down, clearly upset about the three of cups that have spilled. And this could represent, again, a sense of loss, a sense of disappointment, thinking of how things were in the past. You know, longing for those days, you can't get out of it. You're mired in this um, thinking of what has what you've lost. There are two cups behind, and it always goes to the expression of counting your blessings, no matter how uh, devastating the situation is, no matter how troubling or the experiences that you have that cause you pain and suffering. If you can count your blessings, something simple like your good health, that you're standing, that at least you have this or that, you know, you have to start somewhere. This can become more troubling if you can't get out of this um, regret phase. If you're into in continually grieving, then you're never going to be able to grow spiritually. You're never going to be able to get out of that. And so it's really important to process it, acknowledge however you've been hurt. From a situation here, maybe you feel trapped, you've been hurt, you are mired in it, you're stuck in it, it surrounds you. But you have to find a way to count your blessings, process this hurt, and begin to focus on things that are going to make your life better. They're going to bring more peace to your life that are going to be just for you. So interesting, we have in the possible outcomes, we have the Three of Cups and the Fool, Major Arcana. So the Three of Cups is really about after this, this heartache and this feeling of sadness and disappointment, what better way to start to rise out of it than to get the support and the love from your friends, to be with your friends, to share, to laugh, to communicate, to support each other, to toast whatever good things that you can toast to, seeing each other, being each other's lives. So this brings a little bit of peace to this reading, which is happiness and the delight of being with others, of celebrating with others. And then we have the fool, which is, you know, it's uh, new beginnings, new cycles, new opportunities, finding the carefree feeling again in your life. You have to clear out this other business here to get to the fool. And the fool is, you know, it's a leap of faith. It could be a high wire act where you have to balance and yes, you run the risk of falling off, but it's worth the risk. The start of something new that's going to bring passion and make you feel alive again and make you feel purposeful is important. And we're not just restricted to one journey through our life. We have many journeys. We have many paths that we create and that we choose and that we follow. This situation here can be, can, you can get past it and you can move on. And this is a hopeful reading because you can move on to something, a new beginning that's going to be just right for you and bring you happiness to bring you joy. So let's see what the Oracle cards have in store for us. This is an affirmation for the week. Let's see what we have. Diana, we have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And so you have to believe that. And you have to feel that even though you may have had some rough times here, ultimately things are going to look up. Ultimately, you're going to feel hopeful, positive, and have this opportunity 
for a new start, a new path, a new cycle, something to bring you back into happiness and joy and purpose. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what messages we have for love. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So choose love. And in this particular reading, I would say, choose love and focus on your self-love. That when in times when you feel trapped uh, in a sad situation, in a tough situation, in a challenging situation, when you are, when you've been hurt, when you've experienced loss, when you're experiencing grief or disappointment, we tend to neglect ourselves. So take the time to choose love for yourself and to honor what you need, your desires and what your heart wants. So Taurus, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, 